Welcome to Exchange Survival and today I'll be showing you my solar setup. This is the X-Dragon 70W solar charger and is connected to a MPPT solar controller, a 12 volt lead acid battery and a power inverter. The MPPT solar controller is controlling the solar input. Right now it's at 18 volts of solar input and 1.8 amperes. The battery now it's about 13.5 volts with 2.5 amperes charging. The load now is zero. This line is the output load from the solar controller which is connected to a 12 volt car socket and I will connect it to a car charger which would act as another regulator. It has a PD charging port to charge laptops and other devices and another USB port to charge other items. Currently, it is not charging yet, so let's activate it. Once you press enter, the light bulb lights up means the load is activated, the capacity drops and the battery is draining. You can see that the load is taking up 4.4 amperes to charge the laptop. You can see that it takes 52 minutes to fully charge the device. I will now turn off the device and disconnect the charging cable. The X-Dragon solar panel also provides alligator clips which can be used to charge car batteries and other DC devices. I especially connected the wires and adapters such that it is easy to remove the car socket and replace it with the alligator clips instead of using a screwdriver to unscrew and connect the live wires. All you have to do is to press enter to activate the power. The battery is about 13.5 volts charging at 2.5 amperes. This is a 12 volt lead acid battery with 18 ampere hour capacity. The power inverter will receive DC current from both the solar controller and the battery and convert it to an AC current for home usage. Today we'll be powering a 55 watt AC current fan. If we check the solar controller when we activate the DC load output to charge the laptop and leave the AC load on, we can see that the battery has a net loss of 2.8 amperes to 2.2 amperes. So even when the sun is out, we still need more solar power to sustain our current consumption for these two devices. However, we can still charge and use these devices for probably an hour or two before the device drains the battery. This requires further testing. Let's see the device set up at home. After testing X-Dragon solar panel, EP Ever solar controller and Juicing power inverter for about two months, I would say it's pretty good. Especially since I'm able to safely charge my 20 ampere hour power bank or laptop in the comforts of my home at least once every day with strong sun conditions. This is not bad for a portable 70 watt solar panel. In the future, if I wanted to consume more energy, I will need a 12 volt battery with higher capacity and chain two X-Dragon solar panels to generate and collect more power. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.